Hi friends, welcome to Upa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 53 in Arjun Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about workspace packages for Apache Spark pool in Azure Synapse Analytics. In our past video, we have already discussed about how to manage library packages for Apache Spark. So whenever I say package, if you have seen my previous video, that is 52nd video, by this time you already know, right? So package is nothing but like a code what you have written in python language or java language and if you want to share that code with other people in your team then you can create a package of that code and you can share that i am not going in detail about this packaging and everything please watch my previous video and also please watch my python playlist in which especially 55th video where i try to practically show you how to create a package from a python code so that means when you create a package from a python code it will actually give something called wheel file that means dot whl extension file so please watch this video and also part 52nd video of the azure synapse analytics playlist then only you will properly understand about this video so let's try to understand this video with in detail so let me explain you this so let me go to my desktop and let me go to file explorer and here on my system i have already created one field file actually so as i said if you have if you see my python playlist or and especially the 55th video then you will come to know that how to create that wheel file so please watch that so here i have already created it so in this wheel demo folder there is something called dist file so inside this dist folder this wheel file is there so how this wheel file is created this wheel file is nothing but like a package actually so if i go back to the root folder here wheel demo and there is something called test package and inside this there is a python file called calculation.py let me right click and let me open this python file in the visual studio code and let me show you the code in it so this let's assume this is the python code what i have written and i want to share this code with my synapse notebook so that for that purpose i am creating a package i already done it and this package i will be uploading into the workspace and from the workspace i will link this package with the spark pool i will show you practically see this is the code it has three functions one is addition second one is subtraction third one is multiplication and this is available inside the calculations.python file so calculations is the module name inside this all these functions are there so let's assume this is my code so from this code i created a package called test package so to create a package we will be using something called this setup.python file let me open this also in the visual studio code and inside this setup file you will be giving a name for your package and also you will be giving a description and other details actually so all this i have discussed in my python playlist 55th video so please watch it i am not going to discuss how i created these files and how i created a wheel file so assume that for this code whatever you are seeing here which is inside calculations module i already created a package the package name is test package so that package is available inside this dist folder and this is the package file dot wheel file so now let me this is in my local system right so let me install this in my local system so let me go to command prompt here and in the command prompt let me navigate to this path wheel demo then dist folder right so for that i am already under this my users c shape and here then cd space wheel demo and inside the wheel demo dist folder right so right now my focus is under this folder so now here to install any package what you need to do pip install then package name so what is this package name test package whatever the name you are seeing here the same package name i am using it here let me hit enter so what this is going to do this is going to install the package in my system see successfully installed this package now if i try to list the pa packages in my system i can see this test package also available there you can see test package is available since this test package is available in my system now what i can do i can take this test package library and inside this test package library as i said i have this calculations module right so i can refer this calculations module and these functions in my code as well so let me practically show you that for that in this visual studio code let me open a folder here let me open folder and uh, on my desktop i have a folder called python lab so let me select this folder let me close this uh, pop up here so here on this folder like python lab right inside this python lab folder i have a python file called demo.py if you see inside this python file i have already written a code which is referring to the test package what i installed and from there it is importing the calculations module 
and as I said calculations module has addition, subtraction, multiplication functions. So here I am using this addition function to run it and see whether since I install package in my local now when I run this code it will actually run in my local system only right. So whether I will be able to refer to this function and able to run it everything properly or not. So for that let me clear this screen here and here let me execute this python space demo.py file. So now if you see it is returning 3. So how does mag magic is happening? Since in my local system this test package is already installed, this line of code is working successfully. And uh, inside the test package we have the calculations uh, module which I have already shown. That is the reason this code is working perfectly fine. For some reason I want to execute this code in my Synapse notebook let's assume. So let me go to browser and here let me open portal.azure.com and let me open my Azure portal here. So this is our Azure portal. Let me open this uh, Synapse Mahir Synapse. This is the Synapse account which I created for this demo purpose. And inside this uh, Synapse Mahir, I can click this open link here to open my Synapse Studio. So now Synapse Studio is opening. So once the Synapse Studio is open, what we have to do in, in, in my system, the wheel file was available in my local. And then from the command prompt, I installed that wheel file as a package. And then I referred it in my code, right? The same thing, it has to happen inside the Synapse actually. So what it has to be do is, let me go to browser here. So in the browser, what we should be doing is, we should go to this management and here and under management, we see something called workspace packages here, right? Under configurations and libraries. This is where first we have to upload that package file or wheel file here. If it is a Java code, then dot jar file will be there. So since we are using Python, we are having the wheel file. So think like this is like uploading the file into your Synapse workspace first under this workspace packages and after that you have to link that wheel file or package with your spark pool. So first let's upload here. So let me hit this upload button and let me hit this browse button here and here see it is pointing to the same wheel demo folder in my local and test folder. So let me select this wheel file here. Let me hit open and then let me hit upload. So what this will do this will upload the package file which contains some python code into my workspace first. So once the upload is completed then we have to link this package with my spark pool first. So let me refresh it. See the wheel file is uploaded to my workspace only. So don't think we just uploaded the wheel file. We haven't installed this on our spark. To do that first we have to attach this wheel file with our spark pool. So for that under management hub only go to apache spark pools and for example with this spark pool I want to link that package so that whenever I try to run any notebook with this pool I want to make sure that text package also installed. So for that what I have to do I have to click here and click this packages and here if you see there is something called workspace packages hit this select from workspace packages and select your package and let me hit this select button and then let me hit this apply function so apply button. So what this will do this is going to take that wheel file and attach it with this spark pool and once the attachment of the wheel file with the spark pool is completed then whenever you run any notebook with this spark pool it will create one spark session right inside that session or inside that pool the library whatever you are attaching or the package whatever you are attaching that will install automatically i will practically show you that if does is not making any sense for you so right now you can see the progress it is applying the settings that means it is applying the package what we are linking with this spark pool. Usually this will take lot of time actually at least 20 minutes or 25 minutes. So let's wait for this uh, linking to happen successfully here. Great. Now that wheel file which is there inside our workspace packages is attached or linked with our spark pool now. So now what will happen if I let me go to development tab and let me try to create a new notebook here. And uh, into this notebook let's attach our spark pool one. And if you see the default language is python that is fine. So let's minimize here. Let's try to take this code now this python code and let's try to add this code here and let's try to execute this. So what we are doing it here is since we have attached that test package into our workspace and thereby to our spark pool this code should work now. Why because when this session is going to start from this spark pool then automatically that test package will also get installed and since the test package is installed on the pool this line of code first line of code will work successful and then under the calculations module we have the addition function as well so it will also run successful that means the custom code whatever we written we were able to 
create a wheel file from it and that wheel file we are able to add to workspace and thereby to spark pull and thereby to execute that code as well. So let's wait for the cell execution to complete here to make sense of it. Great. Now if you see we are able to print this number 3. How it is coming? Because the addition function if you have seen the code of the calculations what I have shown that is taking two numbers and performing the addition right. So let me go back to here and let me go back to wheel demo folder under this test package folder this is the python file which I said right. So let me right click and open this in the visual studio code and if you see the addition function here takes two numbers and return the sum. So that's why in my python notebook I can see 3. If I supply here value 3 comma 2 then it is going to give you 5. So let me execute this by hitting shift enter C. So that means the code I written in my local from that code I created a wheel file first and how to create a wheel file as I said please watch part 55th video of python playlist and this wheel file I have uploaded into my spark workspace under management category or menu under workspace packages and once I uploaded it then I have gone to my spark pools here under the spark pool I have clicked this and selected this packages option here and here from the workspace packages I have selected my package here and I applied the settings and as I said this applying settings will take some time depending upon the size of the package once that is done then whenever you use that package with any notebook that means in that notebook that package or in that spark pool that package is also available so you can easily refer that package and import the modules from it and use the functions there whatever you have written so you can also execute this pip list command here this is going to give you all the packages which are available on the spark pool at this moment so let's wait for this command to execute and here we can definitely see the test package as well so let me scroll down all the way till t right test package right if you see here see here test package is also installed right on the spark pool so how this magic happening it is because the wheel file we uploaded into workspace packages linked with our spark pool since it is linked here already so whenever we use that spark pool with any notebook that package is also installed automatically so okay so let's go back to our presentation i think that's it in this video i hope you got an idea about what is workspace package and uh, how to upload it and how to link it with the spark pool and everything thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much